Hello and welcome. You know, here from Tax TV. And also got Ryan on. So Ryan, uh, great to have you on, mate. Right. Um, again, five goals, clean sheet, uh, good response from Exeter game. I mean, we start, Ryan. I mean, a couple of changes made. You know, nice to see Luke Thomas. No disrespect to Adam Phillips, but Luke Thomas and Max Watters up front. And justification on, you know, our game centre panned out then, Ryan. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it perfect response, really, wasn't it? Mm. Perfect response to come out and thump him. It could have been one of them potential banana skins, you know, the beaters earlier on in the season. Yeah, unfortunately, I had to, I had to sit through that. <laughs> I had to sit through that live. It's 90 minutes of my life, I'm never going to get back. Um, so... Yeah, per- perfect response. Saw the couple of changes come in. Uh, I'm not sure about the uh, Waters and Norwood one. I, th- I don't think Waters had a bad game at all. I thought I thought he played well, but um, I'm not sure what that were all about. Because Norwood never got on unless he's, unless he's picked up a bit of a knock, and that's why they didn't risk mm. him. Um, but the Luke Thomas one, you know, I really like Adam Phillips. Uh, I think he's been brilliant. So I'm a bit surprised, but I have to say, Luke Thomas were absolutely he, he were outstanding, weren't he? He were outstanding yeah. yesterday. My. It, I can understand why why uh, why Duffy took him off because we were four out up, you know, and then he just took he, he exchanged all three centre midfielders out, didn't he, all at once? And I can kind of mm-hmm. get that, get mm-hmm. some get some minutes into the lads. Game's gone, so why not? I can sort of see that, but you could sort of see it had a not a negative impact, but we lost us that dynamic edge, didn't we? Once once we removed those three out of the midfield, um, but for me, up to that point, Luke Thomas went man at match. I thought he was absolutely outstanding. He right. just never stops. He just bounce. He's like he's like a pinball when he's when he's um, when he's closing them down. You know, it goes from one, then it goes to the next. He chases next time. He chases next time. He chases next time. You don't give him it. You don't give him a second. And as well as we've been doing this season, there's nobody else that does that. There's nobody mm. else that does that. He's, I thought I thought it was outstanding yesterday, Luke Thomas. It was great to see him back, and his performance was brilliant. So. Yeah, good good overall performance, me Neil. Uh, you know, I think second half petered out a little bit. Not. I think, you know, it was difficult to keep the atmosphere going. The atmosphere, I thought, were good in first half. But I thought in second, you know, once we went four and out, well, game's over. We're not playing a rival. It's, it's difficult, isn't it? It's difficult to try and sort of manufacture yeah. a, a constant atmosphere, like which you don't need when you're playing the likes of Derby and Wednesday. But mm. overall, perfect response. Great win. And, yeah, it's uh, set us up nicely for Friday, Burton away, hasn't it? Burning away. Just getting on about atmosphere. Um, glad you've you, you've mentioned about atmosphere because probably fans and that what were there and noticed well, for my tech as well uh, of a zealous steward and uh, yeah. took megaphone off of Granty. Bearing in mind that it was Julian what uh, gave Granty megaphone. Yeah. But uh, Sheffield gave for atmosphere and I remember being at shop. Julian mentioned says, "Well, Granty beer says, yeah, he's a every day, you know." AV and everywhere, Granty mm-hmm. says, I've got him a megaphone, but I wanted to get atmosphere going in, you know, in Ponty End and that. I went, Oh, great idea, get flags and you know, buzzing. And then to see others, you were, you know, other, I think we mentioned it before, like nightclub bouncers or the stewards, what we seem to have at minute, uh, yeah. trying to kill atmosphere in Ponty. And I've just said this to Ryan off air, and I'll tell the rest of the people what's watching this. The steward came down in front of me. Uh, we had plastic pot, and I wonder what's going off here. And it's getting attention about a 13, 14 year old last week, can of pot. You can, there's no cans allowed, put it into a plastic pot and, you know, drink it. Bearing in mind that, you know, father or grandfather, what took her, you know, the children to the game, the other daughter at the side also had a can of pot. So when he when he mentioned it to Stuart about, well, I need another pot then to pour me. Uh, you know, to put other can in. Oh no, that don't matter because it's a different size can. Really? What? What? What's the? What the hell are we coming to? I questioned it. I'm like, no, didn't know it wasn't just... like size matters kind of thing. It's either a can or a can of bottle or a bottle. Yet you yeah. can have a, a bottle into the ground with no cap on it. Yeah, that's all right. So what's the difference with a, a can being open? I don't know. I'm a, I'm a zealous nightclub. But I don't know. I don't know. It just it, um, it, was, it was it was a ridiculous reaction yesterday. You know the stewards need to remember that they need to work with the fans. It's just trying to just antagonising and coming in with this, you know, bully boy tactics over you know over the overly aggressive. It's just not it, and, and you know carrying on with fans. It don't make for any kind of sort of you know working together relationship at all. It's just you know it just makes us on edge, then they're more on edge, and it's just going to end up being a. 
there's going to end up some, there's going to end up being a, a serious incident for me if they don't if they don't pack it in. Um, you know, even on Wednesday game when they, they were getting carried away on Wednesday game, getting you know when we're scoring and celebrating, you know, we're, we're playing as local rivals and it was a big game, and we were a bit giddy. But we weren't fighting and carrying on. We we're celebrating and enjoying it. I don't agree with Paul coming onto the pitch though. But then they're just getting you know what I mean, getting stupid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shoving, while fans were celebrating, they're shoving fans and stuff. I'm like, what are you doing? There's no need for mm. that. It's not a nightclub. It's a football match. You know, if you want to go, if you want to go and be a bouncer in a nightclub, then go and be a bouncer in a nightclub. But it's not the you know a football match is not a place for that to happen. You know, there's there's children about, there's women about, there's old, old older people about. It's not it's not right. It's not right at all. No, no. Um, I get where you're coming from as well, but you know, and club de put a statement out about fans going to the pitch. And not only is it, you know, fine, and it, I get back totally get back. But as yeah. as regards people celebrating, you know, <laughs> you know, one more owners gives a, a fan a, a megaphone to get atmosphere going. What's all that about? Are we going to stop people waving flags or waving scarves next in case you're going to block someone's view or something? Stewards, yes. it, it, come on. And I, and I'm not even a digger. Stewards in per se, um, you know, do they need training? Do they need better understanding and what and what's supposed to happen? Or is it on a a game by game basis where you know we can't get too excited because it's, you know, I think, I think the 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 company that employs the stewards need to all sit down and get their heads together because some of, some of the stewards via, the 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 probably mean well or they, they really don't know. I mean, now and again you lead it ping pong can also go to phase five. And then when you look at Stewart, it's like, what's phase five? You don't know. <laughs> you can't oh, see what happening. Know, what do we know? Yeah, that's it. I'm, come you on. can't see what's happening. It goes to phase five. But will the police, it's usually with the police and stewards go to it. And you're looking around to see, is any bother anywhere? What's happening? Is yeah. kicking off it away? And what's happening? And there's no. I remember asking like... one of Stewart, what's phase five, mate? I said, I don't know. We just follow what it is. Oh, great. So you're just like, really? So if there's lack of training yeah. there, come on. Let's get us that together and let's. I don't know. I, think, I don't know. But that's my bit of rant on, on that anyway. Just wait yeah. over zealous stewarding. Um, and I don't want it to I kill atmosphere at club and fans disenchant. And you know what I mean? We, we, we seem to be going on a, a decent ride and a, a buzz here. Let's, you know, yeah, get it with his like trouble and all that kind of thing. Fans crouch on pitch and that. I totally get that. But when, you, when you're celebrating, yeah. when you're having a drink, I'm not on about alcohol. We, we know that you're not allowed mm. beyond this point. But I don't know. I don't, it, so we've got. So now we've got some different sizes, cans or bottles going. I don't get it. I just don't get it. I, don't, I, don't, I think that's where. What well, I look at it on is that if them kids have come for the first time, are they going to be want to come again to the next game? Oh well, no, because I've got to with drinks and that. Something simple and minute like that could like. Well, I'm not going to come again then. Yeah, absolutely. We've lost it. You know, a bad experience, yeah. but. Get back to gaming, that's my bit of rant over. So, yeah, I mean, I mean, you're looking at goals as well, uh, Ryan. Well taken goals, uh, dummy runs being done. Yeah. And again, I look at Markham, and I don't think we really had a, any real threat to contend with, did we really, if I'm being yeah. honest? No, not at all. I thought they were... I thought they were very poor, but I did see online earlier on in the week, it were a Markham fan, it were, I think, League One supporters group, and... Um, they mentioned that they've not been paid players. All right. Whether that's right. true or not, I don't know. He says, he says, so I can't imagine them putting much of a fight off. And it, and it sort of looked like that, didn't it? Mm. But, you know, mm. they, they weren't at it as much as um, as, as when they beat us at their place. They just mm. they just looked disinterested. I think probably at worst side I've seen at Oakwell this season. They just, you mm. know, it is difficult. We know what it's like being down at bottom of the league. So I don't want to be too hard on them because we know what we know what it was like last season. It's really hard being down at the bottom of the league. It's difficult for fans. It's difficult for players. So, and it looked like that. It looked like a side that's on the way down, didn't it? So, mm. it, 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 it was a shame. But yeah, I thought all all the goals were good. You know, the the it was a nice work free kick for the first goal where it looks like Karen and Kane are setting up to either one of them hit it, yeah. and, it's, and yeah, he, it he rolls it off for uh, 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 for Luke, and he gives it he gives it a decent strike as well. Good save by keeper, but you know, Devant is there to tap it in. Um, follow up on second ball, wasn't it? Pretty yeah, good yeah, as well. Yeah, it? yeah, it was <coughs> really well followed in, but it was a great strike by um, really true um, mm. from, from Luke Connell. Then, second goal, um, nice move in build up, nice move, like you say, one at that one at goals with dummies, it with one at dummies, and again, good strike by Luca, good mm. save. 
goes out, comes back in, and thought it looked. I thought we all thought, thought it was Max Waters, wasn't it? But it turned out to be an own goal, didn't it? When he's when he's put it back in, yeah. But it was a good yeah. ball back into the right area, wasn't it? You know, yeah. He, he, he put it back, back into the right area. And then third goal were a nice strike, wasn't it? I, I kept because it looked it were um, Mads that created it, so he went on that run, then he's cut inside, and I thought I thought he was going to hit it, and he's managed to come back out to Kane, and he's, he's, he's stroked it in. So yeah, three really good goals. I thought we were going to get another one by half time. Because we just we just mm. lost an absolute mm. rampage, didn't we? But mm. anyway, and then that fourth goal was a lovely. It really was. I think that went pick up bunch. That one, lovely goal. Yeah, great yeah. ball by Jordan Williams. Um, and then that love that lovely step over dummy from uh, from Kane, and then and then um, call it stroke, stroke it in. That that was a good goal. That, 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 that was yeah, a really good awareness good. by Kane. But yeah, good. You awareness. can see that you know at that point they've won game and they're having fun, mm. aren't they? It's mm. it, you know nervousness has gone, and you start to see. The real sort of skill and ability of professional footballers when they're playing well and they're playing with mm. confidence and playing without fear, mm. they can they can do some really good stuff, can't they? You know, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. I think that showed it there. But like, I think it died off a bit then. You know, result it was game of one, wasn't it? Game of one. Mm. And we made the changes, and we. I don't think we looked like I mentioned. It, I don't think we looked as dynamic as we did. But nice to see Bobby Thomas popping up again with another goal. Yeah. Yeah, Good tribute and always Nan as well. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was about sure, to say. Yeah. That yeah, his uh, his tribute to his Nan. Yeah, bless him. Mm. So that, that 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 must have been nice for him because you know he must yeah. have had it on opening. We're going to score to get it in ninety fifth minute or whatever, ninety fourth mm. minute or whatever it was. Must have been uh, must have been great for him. So yeah, yeah. Good all round performance. Uh, good changes. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah. So I mean, <clears throat> just, you've just run through goals here. Unlucky call. Didn't get an hat trick, I think we're yeah. wanting. And I've been saying to you, I've been watching it uh, this morning on iFollow and it's on uh, social media on Twitter as well. Been watching it and watching it. And um, I think even Duff's gone on to record to say, so even he's been told after the game he should have stood because he was on side uh, with a touch and bat and he was just behind the last man. Unfortunate he didn't get a goal because I think that's one of the reasons why possibly he stayed on as long as he did. Hoping he could yeah. have got a uh, hat trick. And if, you know, for me, for work rates and stuff, not only having a different change, uh, change in striking partner up front, but also that link up play, like you've just touched on there, Ryan, that confidence, that belief, it, it breathes, doesn't it? You know, you can tell that he's happy, he's fun, make it runs, he's creating, he's taking goals well. Even if it's from a tap in to, you know, a, a blast, he's been at right area at right time, a chance of getting yeah. created. So fair play. I mean, Another thing I want to touch on as well, with substitutes, you know, taking, you know, the midfield off like he did and fetching another fresh midfield on, it just goes to show you strength and depth we've got now. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. thinking, oh, we've got Burton coming up away, you know, we've got other games coming up, uh, Bank Holiday Monday, Shrewsbury, and you look at fixtures thick and fast and it's like you brought Benson on, you know, Russell on, Phillips on, and it's, yeah, get over the rest. And it's yeah. strength in depth's unreal now, isn't it? Yeah, really. That, you know, I said that exact thing, Neil, to be someone who watched the game. You know, it really highlighted the strength in depth when, you know, when you can take all three midfielders off, which I don't usually agree with, to be fair, but obviously mm. the game of one, so it's a different it's a different scenario, get some minutes into the legs. But, <coughs> excuse me. But, um, it just highlighted that we've got, we've got the resources. You know, when you can take... The likes of Luke Thomas off and replacing me Adam Phillips and Adam mm. Phillips has been a starter for the majority of the season. It's it's you know it, it's it's brilliant, isn't it? And they take Kane off and replace him with um with, with Benson and then and then obviously um John Russell dropping into the CDM role. Mm. Um it it bodes really well if we're gonna go into the playoffs as well, doesn't it? You know what I mean? That we've got these yeah. extra we're gonna have these extra games and have this this strength in depth, because if we do pick up any niggles or any little injuries. We could, um, you know, we've still got the players there in order to keep the strong, the, the squad strong. Mm. Options via uh, options for Gaffer, nice headaches to have. Um, and like you touched on earlier, is that Watters and Luke Thomas coming in, it felt it were more a game for Luke Thomas with his dribbling and stuff. And I think it, we, we could see that. <sighs> Going up to, you know, again, a bit far far, but you're looking at the Burton game, it might make the odd one or two changes there if he's going to play to that basis. And what I did like about uh, Duff is that when he got asked, you know, the results, you know, his own phone's been second to none. And I thought it was a great microphone drop moment, this. And he got asked, 
he went, well, you know, we high importance you are winning and look at other teams around you. You know, a five dollars is a good message to send out to other teams around you and set over uh, what's chances to go up automatic like now. Great microphone drop moment from Duff. Duff nailed it. It just went, we're still fourth, aren't we? <laughs> Loved it. Loved it. It was yeah. like, we still got games to play for. We're talking about automatic. Let's concentrate on what we're doing. We're still fourth, aren't we? And it, at that moment, it was just like, yep, yeah, thanks. And I'm like, perfect. Great response. Because us as fans, yeah, we're looking automatic. And, oh, we fair drop V summit. Gaffer, ask a question. We're still fourth, aren't we? But, yeah. but, you know, we're better team five, no, clean sheet. We've done a performance like that. And I'm thinking, that, for me, brilliant. I just love that response. Yeah, you, you can see that the, the stuff that he's been preaching all season, which is is what, is what what not even one game at a time is it? it's one half at a time. Yeah, and that's what it is. Yeah. His five nil win is great. It's three points. He said same against Derby. He said same against Wednesday. Yeah, great results. It's three points. Yeah, you know the same three points we get against Markham. The same three points we get against Wednesday. Yeah, you get bragging exactly. rights, but it's it's three points in league. Yeah. Move on to the next game. Don't look too far ahead. Look to the next game and just keep building on. You know, and, and, the, and the, if you keep doing that and you keep bringing results in, you keep focusing on just the next bit, and you keep doing that well, the the, the points will take care of themselves. You know, mm-hmm. I think. You know, I think I'd love to get automatic, and I think had we had a slightly better start to the season, we'd probably be in automatics. I think we, mm-hmm. you know we've been since October. We've been you know last thirty games. We're, we're, we're number one in the league on farm table. The farm, yeah. So, you know, and that's the last 30 games, you know, and we've only played 38, so it just shows you, you know, what sort of form we're in, not just recent form, but since, you know, since since back in the last year as well. Mm. And I just think that we can't focus too much on what's happening above us. We've got to just focus no. on what we're doing. You know, there's some good teams in front of us. You know, Plymouth are a good team. They've got an easy running, you know. Mm. Ipswich are, Ipswich are flying, you know, seven yeah. seven wins in a row. And they haven't conceded <clears> either. <throat> so, you know, Ipswich are absolutely flying. So if anyone were maybe going to uh, uh, pip a promotion, an automatic promotion spot, you could probably argue it would be Ipswich. It'd be nice mm. to see it be Ipswich and Barnsley. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Imagine pip, that. Not too, but are, are both of them going to falter? I'm not so sure. We'll have to see. What, we'll have to see. I think it's mm. just, I think what's really important is that we just keep doing what we're doing. And if we take that form into playoffs, we've got to be one of the favourites in playoffs as well. So I think that's a perfect response from, from Michael Duff is, you know, it's just the next game, isn't it? That's his mentality. It's just move on to the yeah. next, like I said, next half. The next half of football that we've got, let's just go and win that. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. yeah, I agree. A good point to end on that. I mean, you know, what Duff said and what Ryan just said via, it's like, it's not even, a, a, you know, a, one game at a time, it's one half at a time. And it's, it's obviously that from day one since walking in, uh, Duff, that's the mentality, that's the belief he's got into its side. We can see that. Um, he'll know that, he'll identify that. And like what Ryan said earlier, all we've got to do is take control of his own games. The destiny is in his own hands. We, if we start to take it high off, and I don't think Duff will allow that to players, he's not that kind of man. But if, if he allows players to start looking at other teams around him and start worrying about them, you take high off for your objective and what your goal is. Our goal is at minute to win every game coming up. Let's just concentrate what we do. Let others worry and fear, you know, fear us. Uh, I'd take that all day long. I like to see it on social media when they're saying, Oh, we've got to go to Barnes. I'll watch Barnes is running for a change, driving us for worry about them, let them worry about us. So, yeah, agree, Ryan. Good good point made there, mate. Uh, as always, Ryan, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Uh, get you on for a week. Uh, yeah. Try and get some others on as well because other people have been working and stuff like that. Uh, for Burton game coming up on a, a good Friday. Let's hope it's a good Friday for Barnsley as well. So, go yeah. away with another winning a clean sheet. Yeah, I've got, I managed to get managed to get tickets for it. Um, because I said I'll get sold out and all, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, sold out. But I think the lady that sits in front of me at Ponzi says, um, that they might be trying to get another 500 for us. They could potentially be opening another 500 tickets for us. I don't know how true that is. Cool. Uh, well, if that, if that is the case, then Bill goes like up, uh, up cakes because I know a few people around me asking, like, it's a shame because it's a good Friday. I'm hoping. So if that was the case, yeah. I think it, it probably I'll, I'll end up going with the majority of them anyway. Yeah, so I got my nurse in early. Because <laughs> I knew, I knew it would be, be, be a good Friday. And it's not so oh, far, yeah. it's only an hour and a bit away, isn't it, Burton? So I just want to yeah, stay in order to tick off as well, so. Um. Yeah. Tick off and tick off we'll win, Ryan, eh? Yeah, absolutely. Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. As always, uh, leave your comments below. Um, let us know what you thought about goals and stuff like that. Personally, on a quick note, I thought, 
he were an Ireland footman at match, Ryan. Um, I know Mads got it from a uh, sponsor on game, and I thought, yeah, all right, he got man at match. Did really have a lot to contend with, but for me, it was a toss up between Herbie Kane and Cole. And I think he just was work later, Matt. Cole was going to get it for me. I don't know who your man at match was. We'll sign off on this. Um, I think, I mean, I mean, he can't. Mads had a great game, you know, he really yeah. was a great captain's performance. He put some really good tackles in, he, was, he looked very assured. A lot, a lot of it went through him, it almost like a um. You know, it kept coming back to him, didn't he? So it was almost like a main feature with it. You know, he, he, he controlled it from where he was. He defended and did everything he needed to do. But I think, yeah, Cole, I thought Cole had a really good game. Up until he went off, I thought Luke Thomas were man at match. I'd say, you know, I thought, yeah. Yeah, I thought you were brilliant. I just don't think maybe he played enough minutes to maybe get the man of the match mm. overall. But certainly up to when he went off, I thought he was the best player on the pitch. But I'd probably agree with you on that one, Neil. I'd say, I'd mm. say Devante Cole, yeah. Options all over pitch again for Man at the Match. That's what we'd like to see. Nice yeah. day, who to pick. Uh, so let us know your comments below. Let us know what you think who, you know, deserve Man at the Match. Or whether more, you know, it might have been someone else uh, completely outside. Who knows? It's all about opinions, respectful opinions at that. Yeah. Uh, have a good weekend. Rest of your good weekend. Uh, if you're going to Burton, have a safe journey. Uh, let's come back from the away, you know, another win. Three points and I'll be well clean sheet, but I'll take a win all day long. Uh, Ryan, thanks for joining me, mate. Uh, have a good day. One thing left to say, you reds. <laughs>